take all your princesses, bitch, I am Bowser. Yeah. Fuck superpowers, I got this weed. Girl on my head, dog, that's all that I need. I don't play games, man, I'm not in no... Hello guys, today we're going to be taking a look at this beautiful Nissan GTO. I'm going to be changing a few things about it. We'll be showing you all the customizations. The engine sound I'm going to change as it's got the Sultan RS engine sound, which does not suit this car. I'm going to change the rims. Maybe anything else we can change in Los Santos Customs, so let's try it. What miracle did you want me to perform? Okay, I'm just gonna upgrade some normal stuff. Okay, here we've got the stock body paint color. We've got the spec V. DBAR 35 slash black edition front bumper, the C West bump front bumper, top secret, the wall, however you pronounce that. We got a Varus. We got three Varuses, so let's check out these. Oh, it adds a little bit of a painted splitter. Okay, and then we've got this one, which is a bit more aggressive. We've got a uh, my knees. Another one, which is a bit more aggressive. Then we've got a third one, which changes the whole entire front end really. Add a few more features, make it look more aggressive again. For this video, I'm going to customize it the way I want to, but I'll leave a download link in the description if you want to download it and try out all these mods for yourself. Yeah, I just noticed. Kind of makes it look bigger at the front end, that bumper. Or is it just me? I don't know, but I'm probably going to stick with, let's have a look. Tell you what, we'll go top secret for this one. It's the same with the back bumpers, pretty much all matching sets for the front as a body kit. We've got stock paint colour, which in my opinion looks a lot better. We've got the DBA R35 bumper, the C West, the Top Secret, the Wald, three Varuses. Oh, I actually like the look of that. But I do not like that one. Looks a bit more race car. Okay. I'm gonna go with the top secret. Actually, was my yeah top secret. Um, for chassis, which will do all your side skirt and fender. I think I'm gonna keep that plain because it won't match my fender, and my bumper, engine, put level four. Okay. Exhaust, Nismo Spec V, exhaust, kind of fills out the whole edges, or just one big top secret bar exhaust, jewel. I'm going to go with this one, the fenders, hopefully I can, oh it doesn't, it doesn't do the fenders, okay what is it, okay we need to find this. don't think it actually does anything. Um, okay, let's have a little look. 
No, I don't think it does anything. Hold. Got a varicid that shows a little bit of the engine. Two little tiny scoops. Got full carbon fiber version. Got mines with grills. That one looks very nice. Or you can remove it. Wow, just look at that engine bay. Amazing. But for this one, I'm gonna go with this one. For lights, I'm just gonna stick with these ones. Not gonna have any neons. For a respray, I know I can't respray it. So I'll have to do that outside. We can have no bumper with a carbon fiber hood. Not hood, sorry. Trunk. That's kind of cool actually, but not for this build. So we're gonna stick with the stock. The badge and the spoiler. Side skirts. Okay, we're going to Hmm. Got Sea West, Top Secret, Wall, Mines. I'm gonna go with the matching bonnet. We have a carbon fiber spoiler. Buy some more for Chrome. We can change it to a wall which does add a little lip and looks a lot better actually. You can have a full on race spoiler. Kind of looks like Liberty Walk spoiler in a way. Wow, we can have this big ass spoiler. Or we can just stop, keep it stock pretty much. Not really much difference between Walden and one, so we'll keep it still.
Vespa and the hood. Okay. So, um, let's go back into Los Santos Customs quick. What's wrong with her now? Let's go back to spoiler. Yes, let's choose that spoiler. Or that one. Okay, we'll keep that. I think. Yeah, we'll go with a spec fee. Spoiler. I think I might camber the car a little. And lower it just ever so slightly. So let's try that. Using V Stancer. Let's get some front camber. So we have enough to lower it. And bearing in mind, if you do this, you will end up having this problem, I'll show you, where your wheel sticks through the fender, but I guess it's not a big issue when you're driving, or you're in first person. But I'm going to put that back to stock, which was 40, I think. I'm going to camber the back. Slightly. Now we're going to visually lower it. This means that I won't get any bugs with the wheels. Now that looks perfect. Okay, so let's take it for a drive. I think this car does suit this audio for the sound. Check the interior. Whoa. Dials are pretty nice with the chrome engines. I think I might make this a bit quicker actually. So we're going to go back to Simple Trainer, we're going to try, we'll put on Engine Power Multiplier, what's the max boom? 500, okay that's, <laughs> that's a bit too much. Wow, okay, we're going to put it to probably about 85 and talk we're gonna put that to 1.2 that's pretty nice okay more of the perfect speed for just cruising around this can overtake anyone just pretty much on the highway So you can actually still handle without going a ridiculous speed. <laughs> this lo actually looks great. So let's take a look at it. So this is a right hand drive Nissan GTR. I think it's the 2012 Black Edition. I am not too sure. As you can tell, it's got pretty good details. 
Someone put a lot of effort into this mod. I don't know what that weird line is though. Looks like it's supposed to be like some kind of body line, but the texture's not right. But except from that, everything else is pretty much good. But yeah, this is my first video with a microphone, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe for more, subscribe for more. And I'll catch you in the next video.